welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Lola and I am from the channel The Heart Life where I share a lot of lifestyle videos. I share a lot of, um, right now I'm currently um, pregnant so I'm sharing a lot of my pregnancy updates and just my journey through pregnancy with you guys but overall I do post more about lifestyle and motherhood. So for all you guys watching out there that like videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, make sure you hit that subscription button. I would be more than uh, grateful for you guys to do that. And yes, apologize because the train's going by, of course, while I'm trying to film this video. <laughs> so yeah, um, yes, I live close to the airport and there are train tracks not too far from here. So, I mean, that's kind of the, I guess, the result of living in a small town city I guess you could say um but yeah so I'm just gonna try to get right into this video because I feel like I'm rambling a lot and my kids toy is spazzing so yeah mom mom stuff just roll with it guys <laughs> okay so if you can tell by the title of this video this is my 29 to 30 week pregnancy update I'm really hoping that this train right now is not waking up the kids because that would really suck but yeah, um, so this is my 29 to 30 week update. Um, I am basically filming this a little behind for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to just jump right into the 29 weeks. Um, I did have a doctor's appointment. So we started to discuss um, my back pain that I was having because I feel I'm having a little bit of back pain. But uh, during the 29 weeks, uh, we were discussing it because it kind of scared me. With my last pregnancy, I got a lot of back pain and I actually had back labor when I went into labor. So for those of you guys who know what back labor feels like, that is the most painful thing I think I've ever went through in my entire life. Um, but I felt like she was trying to come through my back. And when I started feeling back pain, I was like, no way. There's just no way that I'm going into labor this early. Um, so I kind of started panicking a little bit and going into panic mode and I know that's terrible But for somebody who has you know who deals with you know anxiety and stuff like that It was definitely something that you know I had to like gather myself and you know try to just push through a little bit So yeah, um, so that was really scary But I mean for the most part she said it's probably just normal if it gets really severe And I feel like I'm having contractions along with the back pain then obviously to call the office um, or just to call the um, the doctor on call and you know see what they have to say and I might be going into labor at that point but I am really hoping that this time it's not back labor when I do go into labor with him just because it would be a lot <laughs> I mean I'm not saying that regular labor isn't like normal but like uh, back labor definitely does hurt especially for a person who already has back issues so yeah Lately, too, I've been having tons and tons of Braxton Hicks contractions, which, you know, obviously hurt, but it's your body just prepping for labor. So, I mean, it kind of sucks, but at the same time, it makes me happy because, I mean, obviously, while I'm going through the pain, it's, it's not enjoyable, but afterwards, it kind of makes me happy because of the fact that I know at this point, you know, I'm just edging closer and closer towards my due date, which makes me really excited. So, I mean, yes, the Braxton Hicks contractions do suck, and it sucks to have to go through them, but at the same time, I'm one of those people that I'm just kind of like, you know what, in a couple weeks, he'll be here, I will be able to announce his name to everybody, just, um, just flood everybody with pictures all over Instagram, by the way. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, here is my name right along over here. Make sure you guys check me out on Instagram. Um, hit that follow button so you can see all of my adorable pregnancy updates and all my kids and just me talking about my journey through motherhood. So yeah, that's another way to connect with me, if, especially if you guys want to see him firsthand when he's first born. Because I'm not going to be uploading any videos on YouTube while being in the hospital. I'm pretty much going to wait until I get home. And then I'll be uploading the birth story, the birth vlog, all that good stuff. So, speaking of birth vlog, um, yes, we are doing um, a birth vlog. We have decided on it. Um, 
So yeah, that's going to be really exciting because the last time I didn't get to, um, you know, go through recording the birth or anything like that. Um, and the doctor was like really iffy about recording while I was giving birth. Um, so I'm just hoping that this time I am in the same doctor's office, but I'm hoping this time I get a different doctor just so that I can actually have a chance at trying to record the birth because I feel like it's something very special for me and my husband to be able to look back on that I already missed the opportunity of doing twice. So for the third time, I definitely want to try to record it. It's something that like I'm really serious about. Um, and that's something I will be talking about in my 32 week doctor's appointment when I go. I'm going to try to mention that to her. Um, and see if I can, you know, talk to her about, you know, me filming the birth. Obviously, I'm not going to put my, my business out there on the internet. Um, but, you know, just, you know, my face and, you know, just the whole process of me giving birth, basically. Um, that brings me to, am I going to have a birth plan? So for Athena's labor and delivery, obviously, when I did the labor and delivery, I did have a birth plan. But, obviously, when you're, you know, going into labor and it just kind of happens out of nowhere, you're really excited, you forget some stuff. Um, and that was one of the things I forgot was my birth plan. And they didn't really ask me if I wanted things a certain way after, you know, I got admitted. The only thing they were really concerned about was whether I was going to breastfeed or not, which obviously, I, you know, I was going to be breastfeeding. So, you know, I said yes to that. But, I mean far as everything else I feel like they didn't really ask so that was a little upsetting so this time around I definitely want to write out a birth plan and I can actually make a video on what my birth plan is um what's in it and what's going on as far as that so the question for am I gonna have a birth plan definitely am moving on to 30 weeks so for 30 weeks pregnant it was really weird because of uh, my when I when I went through my 30 weeks it was just a little um interesting something happened that I've never had to deal with before so I didn't know how to I guess just approach the situation um well basically it was my pelvic bones and they were like pulling apart like you could feel it pulling apart like my actual bones and it was interesting because it happened two different times two different nights um and that was really concerning because I was like that never happened before my last pregnancy so what could that mean you know what I mean is that my body just prepping for labor am I going into labor like it was just a scary feeling I feel like yes I know I think a lot of things are going to make me go into labor and I know I, it probably has a lot to do with just my anxiety especially because the baby shower hasn't even happened yet I mean I'm not done buying stuff for him yet um, so that would be a little nerve wracking if I did go into labor and I guess that's where my anxiety really comes from. But I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of moms who, you know, have dealt with anxiety and all that kind of stuff definitely do understand that, you know, the anxiety of going into labor before you're actually due is a little, you know, could be a little stressful. So, um, I am going to bring that up to my doctor when I do see my doctor um, because I did have an appointment um, in the beginning of 31 weeks and I missed it. So I rescheduled it to 32 weeks and I think at 34 weeks is when I should be going every week um, to see the doctor so that'll be really interesting but yeah as you can tell guys I'm sorry for making weird faces. But I had pizza rolls for a uh, lunch, and obviously the acid reflux is not settling very well, so I'm probably going to eat some Tums after this, but yeah. Funny too, because something I've noticed um, this pregnancy is that he really likes to move to different types of music. Like, if he'll be completely still, but once I turn on the music, he'll start moving around. And it's funny because everybody's like, oh, he's probably in there dancing. And my husband's like, no, no, he's a guitarist or he's going to be a drummer. And I'm like, oh, my God, okay. So whatever. But I, I, it's just funny because I'm just like, he's probably in there just moving around, moving to the beat. And it's just really interesting because obviously, um, you know, he's, he's a fetus. So obviously every single time I turn on music and he decides he wants to start moving around, the music is really interesting. Um, 
I still am having a little bit of a hard time sleeping, um, but it hasn't really have anything to do with my hip pain. My hip pain, thank God, I mean, knock on wood. I don't have any wood around me, but knock on some imaginary wood. Um, I'm hoping that I don't end up having any more hip um, problems this time around um, because I feel like they, they're they gone and I just don't want them to come back. So um, that would just be really annoying if it did, but I mean it is what it is. So a lot of people are probably wondering what I crave at this point and honestly it's like um, if you guys watch the Jackson Hive, I can totally relate when she said that she loves to pour hot sauce on her eggs. That is literally something I've been doing for a while. That, I've been putting whole day on my french fries. Um, I've been really craving ice cream a whole lot too. That's something I've really been into lately is ice cream. So, I always buy like the little friendlies ice cream bars. That's what I've been buying since that whole dilemma broke out in the news about people licking ice cream and putting it back in the fridge. Like, that's just gross. So, I don't trust it. So, I'd rather trust the individually wrapped bars. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much what I've been really craving. I mean, other than like Chinese food, that's like typical though. Because um, when I was pregnant the last time, I craved a lot of Chinese food. So, as you can imagine, um, where I live now actually has only two Chinese places around here and one not really good at all and and as far as the other it's like just a hike to kind of go get the Chinese food and I could get it delivered but at the same time the prices are really expensive but it makes sense why they are because of the area I moved to um, so it is what it is. It's one of those things where like now I kind of just learn how to make my favorite meals from the Chinese store at home and they taste just as good. So that kind of really worked out. Um, especially the chicken broccoli recipe that I came up with. Oh my god, guys. Let me just tell you that it's literally to die for. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my 29 to 30 week pregnancy update I don't think there's really anything else that has happened so far um but like I said starting 31 weeks I'm going to be updating weekly so you guys will know what's going on because obviously at that point is when everything really starts to change but yeah so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up um please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below Comment down below if you had any of these symptoms happen to you when you were pregnant or if there's something that you're currently going through because I feel your pain, mama. I'm here for you. And also, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I will put the link down in the description box for you guys to find me. And yeah, I'm just so grateful to have you guys. Um, And yeah, I love you guys. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.